What's up, everybody? This is Maury, Mark, and Dave from the Erie Better Beer Bureau. Today, Mark, the bringer of gifts, brought over Mother of All Storms from the Pelican Brewery. This is 13.5% English barley wine aged in bourbon barrels. This has been near the top of my list to try for about five or six years now, and so, you know, dream come true. Let's go for appearance here. It's, it's darker. Pretty dark. Yeah. I can't. It's kind of like a real like brown mahogany color. I do get some red highlights through right. it, but you, you can't see completely through it. I'm saying mahogany is probably yeah. the perfect yeah. word for this. Yeah. It's real deep. It is a deep reddish brown. Wow. And you only really get the reds when you hold it to the light. Otherwise, it's brown. Heads light brown in color, settled mm -hmm. pretty fast, I, but at 13 and yeah. a half. That's what's going to happen. Yeah, I mean, I poured a real aggressive. Real aggressive. Right. This pour. We mm -hmm. all got a ring. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's about it. it. Wow. <sighs> that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Maury just wow. said pretty much what we all were thinking. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Deep, dark fruits. Mm, has Galore. Big, sweet. English style with the bourbon in there, wow, you know, English style, yeah. just what you expect from a it's gonna keep smelling. mother of all storms. I'm serious. That is just that's the mother of all aromas. Is what this definitely is. The, smell the bourbon, the vanilla, yeah, yeah, the, the, vanilla. Oak, the yeah. caramel malts. Wow. I mean, everything you want in an English barrel aged barley wine. That is an intense aroma. It is. It's very. It's got so many layers. We to could it. have probably done the aroma from right there. Yeah, yeah I know. That's how it's <laughs> <awesome. laughs> Cheers Let's taste to that. Cheers. Tons of that caramel malt, dark fruits. Yeah. A little of the bourbon. Not not as much not as much bourbon as I thought. In the aroma. Yeah. Right. But it's so, it's definitely so there. smooth. Mm -hmm. oh. Wow. I'm getting a lot of the dark fruit and vanilla. Mm -hmm. I like the alcohol burn on it too. Me it too. makes you it's know not... you're drinking a barley mm -hmm. wine, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. A big barley wine. A real big yeah. yeah. But I don't think the alcohol is overpowering. Not though. at all. You know it's what just I mean? a nice reminder yeah. sitting there in your yeah. chest. Yes, you know? exactly. I don't think this was as sweet as Leon either. I thought no, Leon was a little Leon sweeter. Leon was a little sweeter than this. The way this beer finishes almost reminds me a little of Backwoods. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, just the, like the finish, that bready malty finish on it. Um, right. A little it's burn kind of, on your tongue. Yeah, it's, it's, going just, down. it's, wow. it's reminiscent of Backwoods. I mean, it's different for sure. This is... You know, obviously more barley wine where backwoods yeah. is, you know, scotch, you know, but. Regardless, I can see the yeah, comparison. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is one that you almost want it. I mean, it's it's a good, you know, slightly good below cellar temperature, temperature yeah. but mm -hmm. man, I look forward to this warming oh, a little oh, bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. we got some left too. I mm -hmm. mean. Look at the whole alcohol. Like when you tip it, it's thick. I mean, it's the alcohol just coats the side of the glass on it's this like thing. It's like cough syrup, mm -hmm. you know, old yeah. school yeah. from when we were kids, you know. Yeah. Just full mouthfeel. It's coats your mouth um, all the way down your throat. I mean, it's just real it low carbonation. Mm -hmm. Real low. Real low. Like, you know, at this point, you can see there's pretty much nothing going on there's no stream of bubbles no mm -hmm. i mean yeah it's very lowly carbonated yeah way on the low side but for this particular beer i think it's perfect it works spot on it, it almost know? has like a um like a liqueur type of it does mouth feel yeah. to it you know yes. like a little bit of a syrupy um, almost like a liquor type of mouth yeah. feel yeah i'm gonna go with a 4.75 i like it that much I love the whole low carbonation, especially for this style, being an English barley wine aged in bourbon barrels. That really put it over the edge. I was thinking four and a half at first, but after really letting this one, you know, warm in our hands a little bit, take a few sips off of it, mm -hmm. man, it is just, it's, awesome. it's top of the shelf. Yeah. I mean, it is probably, <clears throat> if not the approaching in the top few barley wines yep. I've ever had. Yeah, I'll agree with you. I'll go 4.75. I think only because 
I'm here and it could get better. Mm-hmm. So if I rate this a five, what am I going to rate a better one? So <laughs> 4.75. I think I do like it a little better than Leon. Um, that was a little sweeter. Um, this, you can really tell it's an English style barley wine. Right. Without it, it's delicious. I also am going to go 4.75 out of 5. I think this is right up there with Leon. I'm on the fence about which one I like better. I think Leon had an even creamier mouthfeel. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's. I think they're both 4.75s. They are the two best barrel-aged barley wines. We'll have, have to get another had. Leon. Hands down, yes. <laughs> I'd like to do a side-by-side with the, those two. But they're, they, they're the best two that I've ever yeah. had. And, uh, yeah, guys, if you can get this one... It's worth trading for. Definitely. Absolutely. Until next time. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, my hands are freezing. That's a problem. <laughs> my hands are actually making this beer colder. <laughs>